Yo, what's up, YouTube? Kempsey here, and as you guys probably know, my contest ended yesterday, so from now on, I won't accept any entries anymore. Um, I, I actually think about 90 or 95 people entered the contest, which is really incredible. I, I can't really describe my feelings at the moment because I'm so happy about this. Um, 95 entries. I first, when I made this contest, I thought about hopefully I'll get 30 or 40 entries. And now I'm a 95 or something like that. Um, this is just incredible and it's so sick. But that also means I need a bit more time to judge the contest. Actually, um, I thought when I made the contest that I will release the results today. But um, I'm just not able to because I need to judge like about 30 to 40 more videos. Um, <laughs> Because I just went through all of them, all of them, um, which is just um, the reason for like the reason for this is just that there's so many entries and I can't really go through all of them at one time. And yeah, so I hope I can get the results out in two days, like this Wednesday, probably. So first of this is uh, thank you to everyone who entered it. Um, I'm so happy right now that I have like so many fans and so many followers who are entering a contest I made. Um, and yeah, please don't hate on the results video. If you didn't place like in the top 10, I'm probably gonna do top 10 um, ranking or top 15, depends on, on uh, how sick all the entries are. <clears throat> but even if you're not in the top 15 or top 10, don't go and hate on it. So yeah, anyway. Um, I'm coming to this uh, to the results with you so um, stay tuned for this one and now I'm coming to the, today's tutorial in this tutorial I'm just gonna show you how you can make some pretty cool 3d text in um, Cinema 4d which is just um, I'll show you how you can uh, color your text pretty cool uh, with some different materials um, and how you can multicolor your text so actually um first step you're going to do is go on YouTube and search for a great Lightroom. There are a lot of Lightrooms and you will find a lot of them. For example, Eras Lightrooms he gave away or in Rated's um, GFX Pack are a lot of Lightrooms. Um, you can just go there and download it. It do doesn't really matter, matter which uh, Lightroom you actually have. Um, every Lightroom looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, probably like Rated Lightroom or um, Moss Lightroom is like really amazing um, but a lot of other Lightrooms are amazing as well so I just hope that I can show you how you can make 3D text um, and can give you some tips so first you are going to do is go on Mo text create one um, probably will be over here so it always depends on the Lightroom where your text needs to be placed so I'm just gonna show you what you can do with this now um, first of all I'm gonna choose tutorial wow. tutorial now I got it I'm gonna choose a cool font which is probably just a real like this one no not really probably bold mm, not too sure about it uh, hmm. I'll probably just choose Agency FB. It's always a good font, <laughs> and it's pretty fast now for me. So yeah, tutorial. Oh, tutorial. So um, so now I'm gonna change the depth to about 150. That this should be enough. And then you go to caps, add fillet cap. And at the end fill a cap as well. Steps one, radius one, steps one, radius one, like this. So um if you run this out now, um it won't look that good because you actually didn't add, didn't add any materials, it's just that grey. Um so what what we are going to do first is just choose a pretty cool light uh pretty cool material. Actually this material Materials are out of rated uh, GFX pack, so just download that or download or download my GFX pack. There are like um, 
pretty much the same materials in. So um, I'm just gonna choose a great rat like this. Just gonna put it over in here. And I'll just run that again, and you will see um, it looks pretty cool, pretty glossy with this material and with uh, this Lightroom. It's just uh, pretty much up to you which material you use. In this um, tutorial, I'm basically just gonna show you how you can um, color like the edges and how to multicolor text. So um, if you want to have like the sides uh, colored now, there are two options. First, op first option is basically um, if you want to have it red and you want to have the, the front um, like chrome or something. I'm just gonna add chrome over here and now to the chrome material you add a selection C1. That makes it that the chrome thing is just uh, on the front and the red is on the side. If you run this out now, it looks like this. Uh, actually, in this Lightroom, the chrome looks more like black. <laughs> but yeah, um, so you just got this uh, black thing in in the front, and then the uh, red thing in the back. That's just a soft box, which is on the top of the Lightroom. So just uh, place your text somewhere where you don't see this, because it looks kind of weird. But yeah, um. Now, if you only want to have like the the edges colored, put in that selection R1. What just happened? Okay, just go on this material and put in the selection R1, and then you see if you're in it out now. Everything's uh, red again. Just the actual uh, edge is like this chrome style, um, which looks pretty cool. And yeah, that would be with the selection commands. There are a lot more. Um, you can also just Google them. Um, there's like a long list with these commands, like <laughs> that aren't that aren't the only commands you can use in Cinema 4D. So <laughs> um, if you want to know more, just Google them. But that's just the basic about this text. Um, now I'm gonna show you a second way how you can color this. So for this, you're just gonna go um, duplicate the text. And at fillet cap, you add at the second text on radius two and on the end radius two as well. Now you go like in this uh, view and move it a bit to the back, like this. That this one is a bit standing out, and the other one is in the back. So um, what I'm going to do actually at this top one, which is this one, I just moved to the back. I'm going to delete the chrome material, and here I'm going to delete the red material. And then I'm going to put in the selection just nothing, then it's actually normal. And if you run this out now, you got the black thing at the front, which the edges are chrome as well, and then the red thing in the back at the sides um, with a step to, uh, to the end, which looks pretty cool as well. So um, just choose the way you like more. Sometimes in some... Um, Lightrooms, it looks better if you only have one text and if you use the selection commands, or sometimes it looks better with this step. Actually, in this Lightroom, I like it better when it's only one text and I use the selection commands. But it's pretty much up to you, to the designer who is actually making this. So um, I hope you just enjoyed this. Um, I hope it helped you out, um, and I hope you will stay active on my channel. Um, stay tuned for the results, which are probably coming in two days. Um, so yeah, I'm out. Peace.